Jeanette Wood writes on Twitter, your Emus tutorials are my training in a new role at the moment. Thank you, they are so helpful. Well, if people are using my Emus web tutorials as their induction into new roles and practices, why don't we do this properly and tell you everything you need to know about Emus in five minutes. Whether you are a locum, a new starter, or a practice manager who wouldn't mind a freebie as part of the induction of their new staff, prepare to be initiated. Before we start, we will assume that someone has helped you out with logins and things. Let's start with the homepage. This is where the fun begins, and this is where you can go if you are feeling lost or lonely. The icons at the top left of the page are super important, and you might need to add some missing ones before you start. And you can easily do this by clicking on the arrows on the right hand side. Customize quick access toolbar. Click on this. Now on the right hand side, these are the ones that you absolutely need to have. Add task, appointment book, consultations, diary, investigations, medication, problems, and summary. And the way to move these over is you just click on the one you want, click on add. Now in this case, I don't really want care history there. So I'm just gonna remove it, click okay. Now all of the icons are there. The ones that are always there by default. Back, home, screen messages, which are really fun to use and are non-auditable. Now you'll see right next to it, there's something called appointment book. And this is the second page that is super important. Click on that. And this will show you the patients that are booked in for any given day. Now, as you can see, there's a calendar here. And if you want to know who's booked in for today, just click on today. And there's my clinic. Now, if you're not seeing anything, it might be that you have to add yourself as a session holder right here. Make sure you click on quick pick and just put in your details. There I am. I just have to double click here, right? And click okay. Now you will have to find out from the practice manager what they called you. I mean, you might be down here as a locum. Nope. Uh, salaried. Nope. Uh, random doctor. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Doctor unknown. That might be you. Now, if the appointment is a face-to-face -face consultation, when the patient comes to see the receptionist, they will arrive the patient. And you will see that on your screen with a little A that is right next to the patient's name. Now, if you want to start seeing the patient, you need to send them in. And the best way to do that is simply by clicking the S key. And now the patient details have loaded at the top. Now let's get into the fun bit. You have to start your consultation. Go to the icon that says consultations and click on that. Now this is a list of all the consultations that that patient has had. When you have familiarized yourself with the patient history, click on add. That will automatically load up a patient consultation. Click okay. All right, let's bring this down a bit. Before you start, personally, I would make sure that you are choosing the right consultation type. So if you go up here and click on the arrow, you'll be able to choose. Now today is my telephone clinic. So I'm gonna choose telephone consultation. Go to history. And this is where you're basically typing in the history. Right, so once you have finished the history, if relevant, you might want to add in an examination. And to do that, you just click on examination here on the left-hand side. So normally I will put my plan in the comment section. So click on comment and here's the plan. Now, something that is super important before you finish your consultation, make sure that you add a problem. And as you can see on the right hand side, there will be a list of problems here that you can potentially add. And if you don't know what the diagnosis is, that's fine. You can add something generic like abdominal pain. But if you add that problem, the next time you see the patient, you will be able to follow that thread. And that is really useful for continuity of care. You can see on the right hand side, anxiety state. I'll double click that and that will automatically add the problem. If you are done, just click on save and that will save to the patient record. Now, if you go back to your appointment book, if you have finished with the patient, just click on L and that will cross them off just to signal that you have already seen this patient. And when you are ready for the next one, double click on the next patient. And if it is a telephone consultation, click A to arrive them. If it's not, your receptionist will arrive them for you, right? And same thing, just click S and then you'll be able to start seeing them. Now, if you have changed your mind and you actually don't want to see this patient yet, to cancel that, just click on C and that will revert them back to the previous state that they were in, so A for instance. Now, if I want to prescribe some medication, what I need to do is go to the medication tab on the left-hand side, click on that. Now, at this point, all you need to do is start putting in the name of the medication and click on it. Now, in this video, I showed you how to access the BNF whilst you are prescribing medication. If you do want to, <laughs> just make sure you have a look. And if I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna click on issue. 
Now at this point you can see that right here it says NHS printed script non EPS. So that means if I click approve and complete, it will print it out in my room. Now here's something that's really important when you are going through medication. If you go to the medication tab, you can see a list of all the medication that this patient has had prescribed recently. And these are all the drugs on the patient's repeat prescription. Now let's say we want this patient to have blood test. Now to be honest, at this stage, what I would personally do is write in the comments. And basically what I would tell the patient is to just go to the desk and say that Dr. Michael wanted me to have some blood tests and let the receptionist organize that for you. Now finally, let's say we want this patient to have an ultrasound. All practices are different in terms of how you would request an ultrasound. I would just delegate that task to the secretaries and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now you go up to this icon which says add new user task. So when you go down to task type, just go to referral and as you can see this is going to be sending this task to the secretary group. And I will write here ultrasound KUB. Again, prior to starting your shift, you're going to ask a few questions. And one of them is, how can I request investigations? And they'll tell you. And then click send. Now, something that is also really useful. So you can go up to the investigations tab. Most frequently, you will see blood tests in here for things like x-rays, ultrasounds. Typically, you will have a program like Docman who will be able to show that for you. Now, I'm going to show you something that's really important as well. Let's say that you actually are not happy with this consultation and you want to start it all over again. Right next to the save button, there's a cancel button. And that's really important. The last thing I'll mention here is there's also a next problem button. Now, in this video, I showed you guys that our practice is not a one problem problem one appointment practice. So this is a button that I will be clicking quite often. So there is one more thing that you might want to do for your patient or that your patient might ask you. They might ask you for a sick note. Another video that I have, <laughs> obviously I have a lot of tutorials here. Uh, it shows you exactly how to do a sick note. Right, that's it guys. I hope that was informative and hopefully that will get you through your session as a locum or maybe your first day as a new starter. Now, if you would like me to go into a lot more detail about EMIS in terms of inboxes and tasks and labs, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll start working on a new video for you. Finally, you can also email me directly. Otherwise, Good luck.